you everybody, today I'm going to be unboxing Funjun Party, not Dungeon Party, Funjun Party. This one appears to be a silly style game uh, in which, as it says here on the bag, each quest is a challenge. Stack dice on your forehead, bounce dice into the box, knock down a meeple surrounded by dice, balance a meeple on a stick. So silly dexterity based activities like that with, of course, a dungeon theme wrapped around that. 3 to 15 minutes, 3 to 15 minutes. Wow. Ages 14 and up. Okay, not sure why. Two to five players. Let's take a look at what's in here. It's actually a very dense box from the feel of it. So let's see what you get in the box. All right, so we've got our rule book here. Let's take a quick look at that. Ooh, five wands. Are those tongue depressors? No, they're actually a piece of cardboard. Okay. Uh, okay, we've got some components there. Shows you setup, gameplay, and uh, XP and everything else. Okay. Hmm. Got it. Baggies. Always appreciate it. A whole bunch of dice. Very nice. I like that color quite a bit. Let's take a look at that. Hmm. Very cool. Oh, these feel good. And some of them are missing pips, like that one. That's not a four, ladies and gentlemen. That's the four. That's the five. There's a pip in the middle that's missing. That's uh, not good. And then we've got a big old stack of quest cards, such as this one here. We're going to crack it open and just take a look at a couple. I don't want to spoil it, but we can get away with looking at just a few. All right, let's see. Let's randomly pick some here. Uh, how about that one? Lee character stands. Lee character stands and holds the box lit on their head, open side up. The this quest is complete when each other character seated throws one die into the box. Okay. Or that one. Stack it. All characters stack five dice onto a common stack so that no numbers on each side are duplicated. The quest is complete once all sides are different. Or how about that one? Math is hard. Roll three monster dice and put them on the monster icons. All characters roll and place dice so the sum is equal to the number indicated. This quest is complete when all spaces are available. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. That's how that works. And then down here we've got a few other components. Uh, we got the uh, tongue depressors here. Open up. Uh, and then hearts, uh, health, I guess, which I'm guessing are punched off center or they're meant to look like that. I'm not sure. They're very off center anyway. Uh, XP and uh, check marks there. And that is it. At this point, you know what this game is pretty much about. Does it sound like something you're interested in? I myself uh, don't usually like party games, which also expect you to learn a bunch of rules. This one seems like it might be of that ilk. So I don't know yet if this is going to be something that's up my alley. Probably not. But as a pro from a production point of view, it seems well made enough. Um, I am worried about that die having a, a pip missing, but that could simply be a, uh, a rarity in this case. Fungin Party from WizKids, a silly party game. Uh, look forward to it coming up from us later on as we play it and give a full review. So there you go. Thanks for checking this out with me. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Tune in every day for the Dice Tower's daily game unboxing.